All right, guys, we are back at it. It's nighttime, it's dinner time, it's cold as hell. Texas, it was like 80 degrees yesterday, and now we are down to, how cold is it out here, 35 degrees? We are doing smoked chili ribeyes. We got a beautiful piece of meat. We're gonna take this ribeye, we're gonna make a chili based, and chili by chili powder a base marinade that we're gonna stick these ribeyes in. We're gonna put them in the fridge for a little bit. We're gonna let it get in there. And then we are gonna get on the RT340 and we are gonna smoke them at 225 until they reach an internal temperature of 120. We're gonna pull them out. You can, you can do two different ways. You could either crank the 340 up to 500 and sear them in there. Or if you have a bullseye, take them out, sear them on your bullseye and get some flame on that thing. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna start putting this marinade together real quick. Is we have a teaspoon of brown sugar in the bowl. So you're gonna put a teaspoon of brown sugar in there. You got a teaspoon of salt. All the ingredients are right there on the screen, everything you need. And all the ingredients here on the screen are for up to four ribeyes. I have two out here. We're not gonna use all of it, but just so you know. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire. Did I say that right that time? Two tablespoons of that. A teaspoon of cumin, cumin? Don't fall in the pool. Teaspoon of cumin? That goes in there. We're getting smoky in here. All right, and then we have two tablespoons of chili powder. Then we are gonna get two cloves of minced garlic which is like two tablespoons, two teaspoons, minced garlic. All that goes in the bowl. Looks something like that. All right, so once you have all of this marinade nice and mixed up here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna brush it on the steak. We're gonna take a classic cut of meat, which is a ribeye, which is my favorite steak in the world. And we are gonna brush this on the ribeye, cover all of it. It's like, like Picasso, just paint it. All right, so what I recommend you do is after you get the marinade on the steaks, put them in a Ziploc bag, put it in the fridge for about two hours, at least two hours. You can leave it in there for up to two days and let it marinate. So I prefer two to four hours, and then you take them out, put them on the smoker at 225. For the sake of the video, we have a ribeye that I've had in the fridge for a couple hours already. We put the other one in the fridge. So we are gonna take this guy out of the Ziploc bag, boom. We have our RT340 set at 225 degrees. We are gonna smoke this until we reach that internal temperature of 120, and then we are gonna sear it. So let's get her right on the grates. Boom, put the probe in. And we are gonna let that right tech do its thing and we will see you guys in about 30, 45 minutes. All right. All right guys, it's been about 32 and a half minutes and 13 milliseconds after that. We are hit what, we we're hit? We we're hit. We were at 120 internal. All right, so I like my steaks medium rare, so that's why I went to a 120. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna crank the RT340 up as high as it'll go. We're gonna get to 500 degrees on this thing, and we're gonna put the steak back on there and let it sear for about two to three minutes each side until we reach that 135 internal, which is a perfect medium rare. Look at that. That's how hot that 340 gets. It charred it. I seared it in the 340. Now we're gonna let this rest for a few minutes. I know that's the rule of thumb, but we cannot be Texas brew and barbecue unless we open up a brew. I've already opened up a brew. I opened up that eight by Troy Aikman. And I gotta say, this beer is so damn good. Mm. 
It's really good, really good. Eight beer, I hope you guys get it outside of Texas. For everybody in Texas, you know what I'm talking about. So cheers. Look at that ribeye. We have all of the seasonings in there. We have all of that marinade that was just sitting in there. And now we are gonna slice this bad boy up. Now this is just a classic cut. Everybody knows, mostly everybody knows how to cook a steak, right? I'm using my samurai sword for this. But when you can cook a steak and add some different flavor to it and just get a variety of things happening, that's what that marinade will do. Here we go. That is tasty. Mm. Really good. Guys, go follow me on social, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. I'm on TikTok. Go follow me on TikTok. Good God, that's good. All right, guys. We're going to take these steaks in the house. What? <coughs> I'm choking on all the juices. Mm. We're going to take these steaks in the house, and we are going to dig in, and we are going to... What? It's cold. My face is frozen. I can't even talk right. We're going to go enjoy these eight beers, and we will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.